Welcome to the afternoon version of Brown Dog Gadget's Building Things live stream. Uh, this is the project we're we'll be making today. This is a fun three-dimensional paper circuits on air sign looking all nice and lit up here in the dark. And you can find the template for this on our website, and we're going to be going to it now. Here's Pete. <laughs> hey, oh. how's it going, everyone? Yeah, as Josh said, we're going to show you this nice little sign here. Uh, if we can switch. Oh, and why don't we talk about how you can build this at home? Sure, Pete. Pete is holding in his hand our paper circuit standard kit, which our green screen is totally picking up on as well in the front. So it looks all bricky in the middle. Uh, this is our $25 paper circuits kit that we we have on our website. And we're going to be giving a coupon for this later on in the in the live stream. So you can get 20% off a little bit later. If you have any questions, let us know while going through this. But Pete, what's in yeah. that box? What's it say on the back oh, of that What that do you get package? in here? You get 30 of the jumbo LEDs. I think those come in a variety of colors. Looks like red, green, blue, and then there's some clear ones. Oh, white and color changing. White and color changing LEDs. You also get 10 of the CR2032 batteries, a little coin cell. You get 10 binder clips, five meter roll of the uh, quarter inch maker tape. That's the big roll. You can do a lot with that. Uh, paper not included. So you, you bring your own paper to this, but we'll give you plenty of templates uh, and oh. designs to, to Don't work forget with. Yes. binder clips. Binder clip. I said binder clips. You get oh, 10, of them, 10 of those. <laughs> 10 of those in there. 10 of them. It's little binder clips. All right. Cool. We switch to our uh, overhead view. All right. Thanks, everybody. So, as Josh said, we've got all these great templates on our website. You can download them, you can print them off, and you can make your project. So what we've got today, like we said, is this little on-air sign. We're going to get into this. We do this with a uh, single sheet of paper. It is uh, two-sided here. So here's our circuit on the back that gets kind of folded up into one piece. Um, and with all of our uh, projects, you know, again, you just print them out on whatever paper. This this project we wanted to do just normal printer paper, nothing heavier, because we are shining an LED through it, so it'll diffuse really nice. So our project today is this piece. We're gonna um, start by cutting out the shape all around the outside there. We've got a thin black line that you cut around, and it has a lot of um, uh, dotted lines that show where you're going to do your folding to fold this together. Now, in the interest of uh, time, I, I could take these scissors and you know, cut this out. Um, sometimes I like to use uh, an, a little exacto hobby knife and a little um, ruler on there. And it helps with straight lines. Um, again, if you're working with um, younger people, the blade can be a little, uh, little dangerous. So safety first. Scissors will work totally fine. And you just kind of get in on the corners there. Uh, again, the back, you just need to look at the front when you're cutting it out, and instead of watching me cut things out, it looks like this. Once you cut it out and get your folds in place, it's going to look like this. We're going to build our circuit here, and then the whole thing just kind of rolls up like that. So, and that's, that's our circuit, which we'll, we'll build very soon. Oh, we've got a comment. I love your work. Thank you for sharing. Thank you from Portugal. That's wonderful to get some comments there. So, here's what we've got. Here's what we need. We've got our LED. We've got our battery. We've got a roll of some maker tape right there. We've got a binder clip. What else do we need? That's about it, right? Now, Pete, I noticed yes. you're using uh, the uh, eighth-inch maker tape yes, there. Yes, I am. And in our... our Paper circuits kit, we have quarter inch. Does either work one. in this situation? You can use either one. You, know, you just have to adjust for uh, how it's going to fit on here. Um, you know, we made this real quick the other day, and I just used the uh, eighth inch because I had that handy on my desk. You can certainly use the quarter inch as well. It's uh, approximately you know, twice the width. Now, now no Pete, problem. before we yeah. use the maker tape, mm -hmm. could you tell us what makes maker tape so darn awesome? <laughs> maker tape is pretty amazing. So um, if you've ever uh, built a paper circuit or a, a circuit using um, conductive tape, it's usually probably been the copper tape. Um, very popular for that. But the issue is it's really only conductive along the, the top side of it. So um, connecting things together can be a little difficult. You have to fold tape over, stuff like that. So the maker tape is very nice because uh, it conducts all the way through, sort of top and bottom and through the whole thing. So you can uh, loop things around, you can tape things on top of each other. It's very nice. It's also really durable tape. So if you stick it down to something that isn't paper, you can often peel it up, reuse it. Uh, what else have I have I left off, Josh? Being conductive on top and bottom and being durable are kind of the big selling the points thing. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's great. And you can run it uh, long lengths. You can run it around corners, circles, anything pretty much. We even made a speaker with with it, didn't we? Yes, we did. We did make a speaker when you hook it up to a, a stereo and crank it up all the way. Uh, it actually works uh, making a paper speaker. Just oh. it and a magnet on some paper turned out pretty well. Yeah, that's and awesome. That is also right up on our website as well, a Ooh, video nice. showing how it works and templates and all that fun jazz. That's a pretty good project. Maybe we should we probably do that one day on a live stream too. All right. So let's get to work building our uh, circuit. So again, we've got an LED here. That's a light emitting diode. Uh, and anytime you have an LED, you're going to see that one leg is a little longer than the other one. So that longer one is our positive leg. And if you look at our circuit here, we have long leg under tape, short leg under tape, and our long leg is on the positive side. So I'm going to start by just bending these legs sort of straight out like that. And typically I'm going to put this down so it matches up. So we've got our positive on this side or negative on that side. Now you'll notice it kind of, eh, it's kind of hard to get it to stand up. So the nice thing about this one is we can just kind of bend these over and that's going to help it sort of uh, give it some stability. And again, we don't have to be exact as long as we can get our, our tape to uh, connect to it. We're all right. So we've got our LED right there and I'm going to get some uh, maker tape to hold it down and to uh, complete our circuit. So I'm just going to grab a strip that is about the right length. One of these days, let's say it out to there. Yep, yep. Just cut a piece off. And the stuff, uh, it, it does cut very easily with scissors. You can't really rip this tape. That's nothing. It's very durable. So you're not really going to rip it, right, Josh? You can kind of brute force your way <laughs> through the eighth inch stuff. Um, yeah. The quarter inch is really, really tough to rip by hand. Very so you use the scissors, which is the up and down side of it. Yeah. Now, notice how Pete is just laying the tape over the top of the LED leg. Mm -hmm. That's because that adhesive bottom to it, it it just is a nice connection uh, through the adhesive bottom, whereas that copper foil stuff people people typically use doesn't have an adhesive bottom. Um, well, you totally could use copper foil tape for this project as well. Uh, it's just easier with the maker tape. Um, you just have to make some minor adjustments for that copper foil stuff. But yeah, that maker tape is the strongness, the durability, the flexibleness, and that conductive on top and bottom approach just makes it way easier. And what about that aluminum tape I've seen like for duct work? Does that work at all? Actually, that stuff is uh, also rather conductive, but only on the top. Only on the uh, top. It's yeah. actually kind of fun to use for some larger electronics projects where you need a very big touch point, like if you're using an Arduino or a micro bit uh, with a capacitive touch input. We have some projects that do that. Uh, we've used it before for a few things. All right, so I've got the first two uh, pieces of tape down running towards the battery. I'm going to add this little extra piece here. And again, I can stick it right on top and it'll conduct all the way through, as we like to say. Uh, so at this point, uh, that's all in. We've got our battery next. So you can see our little template has a little plus sign kind of facing us. So we're going to get the battery the same way like that so it faces up. But I don't want to stick the battery down yet because we have something we like to call the loop. Josh, can you tell them what the loop is? Oh, the loop. Um, the loop. So because maker tape is conductive on top and bottom, you can just make a tape loop. And uh, there we go, now my microphone is on. Same way, you, same way you'd stick a poster to your bedroom wall. Isn't yeah, it? I would just stick it on the bottom of your uh, battery and then you put that on top of other maker tape. Basically, you're putting a tape loop on top of tape. Um, and then you're good to go. Now, somebody had a question if you can't find maker tape. Again, you could use copper foil tape. And that stuff is literally everywhere. Amazon's a good place to find it. You can find our stuff in the US and Canada through teaching websites, our website, Amazon. Um, internationally, it's more difficult because we have yet to find a good international vendor. <laughs> Hopefully soon we should be on Robot Shop's website with yeah. our tape. Um, they sell internationally. Um, but uh, aluminum foil tape also works well. You just have to make sure you put all your parts on top of the tape, right. not underneath the sticky side. Yeah, so you'd have to lay the tape down, put your LED on top, and then tape it down to that. Right? Yeah, there's some different options out there. Really, a good conductive tape is is handy to have around for all sorts of projects. Yeah. So, and as you can see, we you know we held our legs down, we ran it to the battery, and we've already got this uh, circuit complete here. If we do this, which is great. Now, Pete, I know you're yeah. using just one LED on this project. I, I am. Yeah. What if I was the person who happened to have a whole bag full of red LEDs could, sitting on the table next to me you here? You could probably try the whole bag. You know, that's a great experiment. Sort of add a bunch along the way. You can add them, as we like to say, in parallel, where they'd all be getting the same amount of voltage from the battery. Um, we put this one. It's positioned here, so it's you know just about center between the words. Um, if you put it somewhere else, you might get a little bit of hot spot from the glow. Um, but you could do a whole bunch of them and see what you get.
And also, uh, using blinking red LEDs would totally work oh, as yeah. well. Blinking to do a nice would blinking be effect. Great. Uh, just from experience, uh, two to three LEDs off a single coin cell battery. Mm -hmm. So as many as you should really try. Right, right. Um, after that, they start going dimmer and dimmer. Yeah. Uh, if you want to use a like a double A battery pack or something, could power you know mm -hmm. fifty or sixty of them. <laughs> but that's a little silly. Uh, but yeah, two or three would be would totally work on this that as well. Work. But one looks pretty nice as we saw in that yeah. opening video clip. Definitely. All right. So at this point, we've again, we've got our circuit in place. We've tested it. it lights up. For some reason, it doesn't light up. Again, you know, make sure you've got your LED the right way around. Need the positive going to the positive on the battery, negative going to the negative on the battery. So at this point, again, I've got my sort of pre-folded one in here. Uh, it's just a matter of us kind of pulling this together and rolling it up, just like that burrito I had at lunchtime. <laughs> oh, just like that. So I'm going to get actually a couple of pieces of tape ready just okay. so I can, yes, Pete, yes, Josh, what is it? Pete, you want to show us a close-up shot of how you put it all together? A of your, of your LEDs from the close-up camera? Oh, the close-up camera. Yes. Yeah, the close-up camera. Close-up camera's over here. Look at that. All right. So again, you know, we've got our LED right here. The legs, tape holding it down. This goes here and you get a nice little glow there. Very simple circuit for us. Yeah. Any questions on that? No, no questions coming in yet. All right, back to this. So I think I did miss one fold here. I'm just going to add it real quick. There we go. Okay. So from there, like I said, we're going to roll this up. On top of itself. This is probably the hardest part of the project. The electronics part is very easy. The whole rolling it up uh, is the uh, difficult part, I think. Piece of tape there. Put one there. One more there. Let's hold it together nice and uh, solid. There we go. Now, with our studio lights, you, you might catch that it's uh, lighting up a little bit there. Again, it's very bright in here. But uh, if you don't want to hold this down, you can add a little binder clip as our switch. And we've uh, we've got our light up sign, three-dimensional. You could put it on top of your, uh, your bookshelf, anywhere really. It could go. Look at that thing glow. It's a nice glow. Nice looks glow. looks pretty good looks for, pretty for good. a paper craft. For a, yes, for a paper craft project. I mean, an on-air sign you ordered from Amazon would probably take six to eight weeks and cost $100. So, well, I mean, right now, yeah, everything's taking forever on Amazon. Yeah, so make 12, your own on-air sign. Right, exactly. So that's, and we're on the air right here. How many times a week, Josh? It's, well, we're going to do know. this like once or twice a week. Once um and We're just kind of doing a couple during the day, doing the same project more than once for mm -hmm. the... For the fun of it, and uh, yeah, that's the project. Oh, if you've been sticking around way too long, um, let's see if we can uh, get the the coupon to show up. We've got a coupon for the uh, paper circuits kit that you can get, which apparently is not showing up at the moment. <laughs> Why don't you just tell them what it is? Sure, uh, we'll do, well, here do this. <laughs> it's uh, on our website. If you go there and buy a paper circuit standard kit and use the discount code paper live. There we go. Pete's going to point at that there. Paper live. Um, then you can get 20% off a uh, paper circuit standard kit. Um, and that's good through uh, Sunday. End Sunday. Of day, Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get this kit right there. Yeah, and that's uh, enough for like 10 projects, give or take. I mean, yeah. really right there, the limiting factor is... Uh, Whatever you're going to run out of first. Mm -hmm. Ten batteries, mm -hmm. <laughs> 16 feet of tape. Right. You know, I mean, you're going to run out of one or the other at some right. point. But well, I, can, I mean, I can always take off the battery and the LED, right? Reuse those. Yeah, that's nice part, oh. too. If you screw up really badly, like mm -hmm. when working with children, if they screw up really badly, take out the LED and the battery and then yeah. just add more tape. Reusable, reusable. It makes yeah. life really easy. And we have lesson plans and activities for these on our website. Um, we have uh, lesson plans as well. So if you're at home with kids and and want to uh, do some educational lessons, we've got stuff there, um, stuff that yeah. teachers use frequently. Right. Now, Pete, also, yeah. I, wa I want yeah. you to show off something, too, oh, because Pete, really? Pete has been working on this project for a while now. We're going to show this Not off. that long, really. Um, Pete, oh, so, tell us about the project, Well, Pete. so, okay, as you can see here, this 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 happens sometimes. The, ro the roll of uh, maker tape kind of unraveled a little bit, you know. And then you have to find the end, and you got to you know, cut it with some scissors. I thought it might be fun to try to make a tape dispenser that would hold these. Um, so it's still in progress. Um, it, it kind of works. Uh, it could use some improvements. But, you know, it's a good first uh, first try. Spent maybe 20 minutes on it. So 
Show, show them where the cutting spot oh, yeah, is on yeah. there. <laughs> There's a little uh, bolt here, and inside is an X-Acto blade. So you can pull this out and just boop, cut it like that. You can just pull it out. It's like a sort of like a real tape dispenser and cut a piece off. So that, that was kind of the idea instead of trying to hold it and get some scissors. We're, uh, yeah, and it unravels a little bit still, but we're, uh, it's in progress. That's our, our tape dispenser prototype. When we get better, if yeah, if you're yeah. with a, a laser cutter at your school or your mm -hmm. home or maker space, we'll throw that out there. Maybe uh, maybe you can uh, put it out there. Or, you know, people can try it out. And yeah. and I know because we have so much tape around our office, those are kind of handy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made I made a really cruddy one out of uh, laser cut wood for a tape cutting machine that works okay. Uh, but yeah, making a, a better version um of that is kind of on the list of things yeah. to kick around during this corona stay in time <laughs> yeah. we've got and it's nice because at least i know where it is it's on my desk standing up like this it's not you know i don't knock it on the floor it's uh, there you go in I, progress i'm sure there's a bunch of like 3d printing um templates out there as well for doing your own like 3d printed tape dispenser yeah. oh yeah I'm sure thingiverse has something out there but uh yeah we'll, we'll plop it up on the website as a project when a few more tweaks are made yeah Oh, and one last thing, too. Yes, yes. We totally have. Um, we switch over to this. Oh, yeah. We have some sampler packs back in stock. These were uh, something we, we usually sell teaching conferences. We had a bunch left over because all of our events were canceled. Uh, we had limited supply of those, but because people have been buying them for home use so much, we've gone through a limited supply. Those are back in stock on our website. It's $25, and it's a little bit of everything from bristlebots to solar cockroaches to making name badges, but literally it's a little bit of everything we do for $25. And each of those things in there has a lesson plan. So if you want to do those activities with kids, you can you know, basically have a week or so's worth of uh, in-home science lessons off just what's in that box, plus some paper. Um, you can even do conductive sewing with a roll of conductive thread that's in there. So anyway, that's the show for the day. Anything else to add there? Uh, no, again, the templates available on our website. Those are free to download. Print as many as you want, right? Yep, and yeah. uh, that Paper Live Paper is Live. the discount code on our website if you want to actually give it a try. Otherwise, our website, Amazon, the code does not work on Amazon, <laughs> but you can buy it off our website or Amazon or... BrownDogGadgets.com. Yeah, BrownDogGadgets.com. yes. And uh, well, we do the cheesy, if you like this video, <laughs> smash subscribe. <laughs> We're, we're not that desperate. Not, um, yet. not yet. Give it a week. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Yeah. I mean, thanks for watching. And we'll be back next week with a different activity or two and uh, some more fun projects. So right. thanks for coming by. Thank you.